I will call to order the uh, June 4th meeting of the City Council Committee on City Services. And I am Chair Maureen Kearney, Council from Ward 1. And I'll let folks introduce themselves, sir. City Councilor, Mary Ann the Bird, it's Chair. Uh, Dennis Bigel, Ward 2, City Councilor. Uh, Jim Nash, Ward 3, City Councilor. Okay, great. So all are present, and there is no public I see for public comment, and so we have the next item are three sets of minutes, which folks should have for April 2nd, 23rd, and May 7th. I'm caught up now. Is there a motion? Uh, I'll move approval of all three sets of minutes. I'll second. Okay. Thank you. Any um, additions, corrections, or otherwise discussion on the minutes? No. Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay, so this might be a record. We have 20 appointments to handle <laughs> this afternoon. So, <clears throat> as the agenda is really just the cut and page from the, what was referred to us two sets of city council meetings. The first was on May 3rd, and that's the first set of seven. And then we have the second set that came to us on May 17th. So, shall we just start right off the top with yes. um, sure. board of help? I spoke with Dr. Cynthia Swopis, I think is how she pronounces it. it is. Um, and she's very pleased to be uh, uh, looking at a, a, a second term. She finds it a very good group of professionals. We obviously talked about tobacco and marijuana issues. So that's very much, very much with them. They're very, very proud having set the stage. She's a forerunner for moving sales of tobacco to 21. I'm very proud of that. And they're grappling with what to do further about tobacco and further about downtown smoking. Very well qualified to be part of that discussion, so I would recommend a positive recommendation of the full council. Oh, or do you want to do these one at a time on the recommendations, or how, do you, how would you prefer to do Oh, we might as well. I mean, okay. you know, then if you know if it's made or okay. seconded, so I've made okay. a motion for a positive recommendation. Well. Moved and seconded to okay. uh, send a positive recommendation on Cynthia Swopis to the full council. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No abstentions? Okay, great. Thank you. And Laurent Levy. Laurent Levy. Uh, I, uh, I was responsible for reaching out to Laurent. Um, he's uh, been a resident in Northampton since 2016. He works in Cambridge. Uh, he's trained as an environmental engineer specializing in groundwater pollution. Uh, he's interested in public health and environmental issues. Um, he's, his interest in the Board of Health got hurt recently around the discussions around marijuana and smoking with the youth and um, that um, he attended a number of meetings and was approached by Meredith for one of the open seats and it was suggested that he apply and um, that um, and so that's how he what prompted him to uh, submit an application. Uh, we, we talked for probably 10, 15 minutes about marijuana and caps and all sorts of things which, um, which have been uh, in vogue to talk about with the Board of Health. And he's, he's up to date on all of the issues and he's looking forward to serve. So I uh, uh, would like to make a motion for a positive recommendation. I'll second that. Okay, moved and seconded to send Laura Levy with a positive recommendation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Thank you. And Jack Ben? Yep. Jack Ben. Um, Jack. And um, he just feels it's an honor to serve the city on the commission the last three years and also to represent the Conservation Commission on the Community Preservation Commission Committee. He's been born and raised in North Bampton and he has a deep appreciation for the value and beauty of our natural environment. 
He has a degree in wildlife biology from the University of Mass and continues to learn about the Wetlands Protection Act and our local ordinances from his fellow commissioners and staff. So he is hoping it's, and he is saying that he's hoping to be reappointed to serve on another term. And thank you for considering his reappointment. So I make a full recommendation, a positive recommendation to full city council. Second. Okay, moved and seconded to send Jack then with a positive recommendation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No abstentions? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and I did um, reach out to Barbara Blumenthal, who was up for reappointment. Um, Barbara has served uh, for quite some time on the Historical Commission. And she's also a docent now and a board member of Historic Northampton. Um, a real value to that uh, commission. She was willing to come here. I said it wasn't important, but um, that I was prepared to ask someone, because that's the chair, I think I have to ask a member to um, offer a motion for a positive recommendation. Sorry, President, positive recommendation for Barbara Blumenthal. Thank you. So moved and seconded to send Barbara Blumenthal with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. 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 Who was the second? Uh, well, I, I made the motion. Oh, oh, and Miriam. Yeah. And housing partnership, I think. Was that? Yeah, that was me. Oh, that was me. Okay. All right. Uh, so I had answered back and forth with James Reese, and he's out of the country. So um, I have, uh, I haven't had a chance to speak with them just yet. Um, and, um, but I, um, this is for a reappointment and uh, I, I would suggest that we have a positive recommendation. I'll second that. Okay, so moved and seconded for James Reese with a positive recommendation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, no abstentions. Thank you. And how about for Mr. Morse? Yes, I, I, okay. I, I spoke to Joel. Um, this is a, a, a reappointment on his part. He's found it a very rewarding experience to be on the Human Rights Commission. Uh, finds it to be very well run and constructive once, once they kind of sorted out what they are and are not. Um, he's very much involved in Big Brothers Big Sisters. He's on the board there. He has a long history with nonprofit organizations. Um, and he brings uh, quite a breadth of experience to uh, the Human Rights Commission. And uh, I would recommend a uh, positive recommendation. Second. Okay, moved and seconded to send Joel Morse with a positive recommendation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No abstentions. Thank you. And Councillor, was he yes. on okay. Brian Campanelli. Um, this will be his six year term, and it's about to end in June. And Brian told me he really enjoys serving on the License Commission because it has given him a chance to give back to the community. And he also feels like it really makes a difference with the perspective that he brings to the commission. If reappointed, he believes that he would continue to serve as chair. And he says to please consider his interest and continue on to serve the city of Northampton. I make a positive recommendation to full city council. Okay, and so for Brian Campidelli with a positive recommendation, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No abstentions. Great, thanks. Okay, that's the first set. And um, I did reach out to Robert Bollinger, whose uh, appointment, a reappointment, is up for Agricultural Commission. And um, as I did with other reappointments, that you know, I, I did reach out and say that upon review, I, well, first of all, I wanted to thank them, especially uh, Rob, who's been a while on the Ag Commission. <clears throat> and if he just had any thoughts or comments, 
he didn't, but I know on the note that he's uh, you know represent well he works at Smith Boak and has been a farmer for more than thirty years. Okay. So I would ask if someone would send a motion or make a motion. Make a motion. Sir positive? Yes, to make a positive recommendation to the full city council. Okay. I'll second. And moved and seconded to send Robert Bollinger with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. No abstentions. Thank you. Um, William Hargraves? I spoke to William Hargraves. His would be a reappointment to the Board of Health. Um, and I learned he brings a very interesting perspective. He worked at, he was a, an OSHA inspector for, for 30 years and learned a lot about how difficult it is to craft regulations. And so he's, 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 he, he brings, he brings a role to the Board of Health that's a little skeptical of, of somebody. You know, for example, on tobacco and, and on marijuana, he's more of the, well, we can't quite create regulations for problems until we've seen the problems. So I, it sounds like sort of a good counterweight in some ways to, to have on the, on, the, on the Board of Health. He sees the primary role is protecting kids, and he thinks they do a pretty good job of it. Um, so yeah, it sounds like he's a very important uh, perspective to have on the board council. I would recommend a positive recommendation to the board council. Okay, second. 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 seconded to send William Hargraves with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any uh, abstentions or nays? Hearing none. Thank you. And was it Council Cynthia Langley? Cynthia Langley. Oh, was that you? Okay, that's for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, talking with Cynthia, um, her focus, her professional career has been focused on programs and services for older adults. For over 19 years as a director of the Northampton Council on Aging, 1975 through 1994, and 23 Wood Arps Natural Office in Washington, D.C. She is very interested in bringing her skills and wealth of experience to the current and future work of the Council on Aging and Senior Center. The city's age 60 plus population is diverse and is increasingly multi-generational with a broad spectrum of interests. She believes the success of the Senior Center programs and services is in the ability to be of interest, to be relevant, and to be flexible. She has admired from a distance the increasing engagement of so many talented volunteers in the seniors program and activities that she feels she will be a champion of the successful volunteer and staff partnerships that have been forged. Along with Linda Desmond and Kathy Service, she has been at the forefront of seeking designation as an age-friendly city and will become even more involved after her retirement at the end of June. She thinks that she will continue with other organizations on a number of services and programs which will serve to enhance and expand opportunities for success. So she does have a long history of serving on boards and committees in both advisory and leadership roles. She looks forward to making a contribution, if appointed, to the North Yemen Council on Aging. And I make a positive recommendation to Full City Council. Sorry. Moved and seconded to send the name of Cynthia Langley with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Was the second Council on Nash? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, thank you. And uh, Jean Hoos? I spoke with Jean Hoos. She would be a new appointee to the Council on Aging, but she's been doing her homework. She too has been, she knows Kathy Service well and has gotten real up to date. Uh, she's kind of excited to be part of the new team, if you will, and to be supportive of the new, of the new director. And is convinced that the, all the brouhaha will be over soon. And she wants to be part of the process of getting things moving forward in a positive direction. Um, so I think she would bring a great deal of uh, wisdom and experience to that uh, council on aging. So I think a positive recommendation. OK, 
Okay, so I moved and seconded to send Jean Bruce with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No abstentions? Thank you. And then we have the appointment of Jean Pei. Yes. Um, Jean and I had a talk in regards to the senior center and about the situation that has occurred down there, and she agreed with me about moving on. And she felt that, that my statement was a very important, valuable statement. She feels that we do need to move on and bring back to the together, togetherness and work together to make the senior center vibrant. I am really hoping this happens. Everything takes time to heal. Will some come back that are so angry? Is Marie is a wonderful woman and everyone needs to help her in any way they can. Her and I have talked and she is trying hard to bring in new ideas. She thanks Jean for her email and it is fine. And it will come to our committee on June 1st, 4th, I told her. And she really, she has volunteered. She is very active and she would like to be able to be involved and make the senior center and people come together and work together and make it vibrant. I highly make a positive recommendation to the city council. Okay, moved and seconded for the name of Jean Pei. Positive recommendation, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed, abstentions, none? Well, great, thanks. So now we're on to Kathleen Braden. Kathleen Braden. Um, she is a teacher at Jackson Street, and partly because of that, our schedules just haven't synced, so I haven't actually spoken to her. Um, but um, she wrote more about her background than almost anyone. She's she, she was a past she was a social worker at the Council on Aging um, some some years ago before moving into the, the, the teaching profession. Uh, she's the director of a Council on Aging in Chelsea. She, uh, her, her mother lives at Michael's house. There's lots and lots of, and she's particularly interested in, in uh, staying or kind of re-engaging the world of aging issues with what she's learned as a teacher. So it sounds like she'd be a really important breath of new perspective there. So uh, even though I haven't spoken with her, I have a great deal of confidence in what she would bring to the Council on Aging. And I Recommend a positive Second. Okay, moved and seconded for a positive recommendation. <coughs> sorry, for um, I'm sorry that what, what was that? Oh, that was for Kathleen. Uh, Kathleen. Brady. That's right. Yes. Kathleen Brady. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No abstentions. Brady, no, I got that. Thank you. And how about Michael Roy? Yes, that's mine. Oh, okay. Michael has participated on the North Hampton Housing Partnership and has been a very meaningful and interesting experience, he has told me. Therefore, he had submitted his application to be reappointed for a second term. The issues surrounding affordable housing are numerous and complex, and he feels that the first term helped him build a solid foundation of housing related knowledge. Going forward, I'll be able to leverage this knowledge and be an even more effective member of the housing partnership. He believes that his workforce force housing or often referred to as affordable housing is a critical part of economic development and job creation in any city. He also believes that the opportunity for a city to be accessible for individuals and families from all income levels, thereby contributing to a diverse and thriving city such as we enjoy in Northampton. As Northampton residents, we are blessed with so many benefits of a thriving city, including cultural events, endless entertainment options, ethnic and racial diversity. And he states that the list could go on. While this success draws new individuals and families to Northampton, higher housing prices follow, and as counselors, we hear this all the time. 
His vision for the housing partnership is to continue to look for ways in which North Amp remains in a housing option for anyone in any income bracket. He will continue to look for creative and practical solutions to ensure a supply of quality, affordable housing. And he sees that the housing partnership as a think tank continue to work in conjunction with city officials to craft real world solutions to the ever increasing need for affordable housing. And I am um, recommending a positive recommendation to both city council. Thank you. Moved and seconded to send, <clears throat> excuse me, um, to send Michael Roy to the full city council. The positive recommendation, all in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed and no abstentions. Thank you. And then I also communicated with Glenn Connolly, um, who has, uh, this is a reappointment, he's been on the Parks and Rec Commission, um, I'm not sure how many terms, but at least for several years, and prior to that, he was volunteer in a lot of youth sports. Um, says that most of that put him most days at many of the playing fields through uh, the summer. A uh, huge advocate for recreation. Um, he also wrote to me that he's looking forward to staying on, and I told him I would ask for a motion for a positive recommendation. All that positive recommendation from Glenn Connolly, Parks and Rec. Moved and seconded to send Glenn Connolly with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And no abstentions? Great. Thanks. And the next two, um, I also wrote to Jen Warner, Jen Warner and Molly Hale. What is this? Yeah, in that order. Uh, both, I mean, uh, I worked with Jen Warner for a number of years when we were both over at Smith Folk. She was in uh, forestry and horticulture, and now she's a professor of landscape and horticulture down at Stick. Um, she's really committed to, you know, I mean, being on the tree, public shade tree commission is really, we're lucky to have actually both of these next two people, but Jen, Jen Warner, um, I told her I would also ask for a positive recommend a motion. I'll second that. Okay, I'll make yours the motion. And I'll second that. Okay. And that is to send the name Jennifer Warner with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed? No abstentions. Thanks. And um, I'm sure most of us know Molly Hale. I mean, I think she's been on the tree uh, commission since the very beginning of the establishment and has given numerous presentations the, to the city council and I told her also that I would ask if there could be a motion for a positive recommendation for her I'll, reappointment. I'll make that motion. Positive recommendation. I'll second. Okay, moved and seconded to send the name Molly Hale with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. 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 Not opposed? And no abstentions. Thank you. And Mark Sullivan. And I'm up for the next three. Okay, so we Ooh. first we have Mark Sullivan. Uh, Mark has served on the planning board for 10 years and he is the senior member on the planning board. Uh, he has also served as the chair of the planning board, uh, not currently, but has done that as well. Uh, I still very much enjoy the volunteer work. I have a good understanding of the process. I'm the senior member of the group and I bring a knowledge, knowledge base to the discussions that I believe is valuable. Um, I'd like to continue my service for the foreseeable future and I ask, ask that I be reappointed by the City Council. And um, so I am going to ask for a positive recommendation. Make a motion for a positive recommendation for Mark Sullivan. I'll second that. Okay, moved and seconded to send the name Mark Sullivan with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. 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 No abstentions. And Alan Verson. Yeah, Alan Verson. Uh, so uh, I, uh, this is for uh, reappointment to the planning board as well. Uh, he, uh, Alan says he enjoys dealing with interesting issues as those found on the planning board, um, has personal experience developing property, and he owns commercial property here in town. He brings a law background to the planning board 
and um, and he is known at times for asking challenging questions and um, that um, and I've, I've heard him do that in planning board and also as part of the TPC and um, um, I would like to make a motion that we send his name forward with a positive recommendation. Second. Okay, moved and seconded to send Alan Burson with a positive recommendation. All in favor? Aye. 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 The so next has, one. Can I just ask a quick question? Yeah. Didn't, just within the last year, didn't we handle it? it well, we did, but right, um, it it, I don't know why, I don't know why this is coming up so quickly, because it was one of those that was maybe controversial, it was because in. it was... Oh, maybe you've been completing. Maybe you've been completing. I don't know what I just, just realized. Yes, I'd rather... Well, I think it. this vote's going to be less controversial for him. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he, he may have to actually show up and defend himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that is a good point. I'm wondering. It, it's, it's not been more than a year. Just, oh, I'm sure it was in the last year. Well, so no, it didn't have something to do where... Well, what happened he was out in, I think, or something. He wasn't strictly. Oh, um, I know. Or maybe I know. He, he was moving a, from. He was an associate, exactly. member associate at that time, replacing that someone's term. Yes. To full and now he's being reappointed as a as a full. Okay. okay. That's what we it is. got that figured. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Um, the next one, um, Catherine oh. Foot. I would like to abstain from that because she's part of our family. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I don't know. We'll hear the report. Oh, that's good to know. Um, this is uh, from Kathy herself. I am interested in serving on the trust fund committee as I would like to give back to the community that I was born and raised in. Further, I believe my professional experience as a fully licensed uh, investment advisor working in the financial services industry for the last 12 years would provide value to this committee in the city of Northampton. Um, and I just want to say, I've known Kathy since me and my wife moved here. We both had young kids, and um, that uh, she served on school committee. She ran at large for that, and that um, I'm familiar with her work at, uh, at this financial uh, planning institution. And also that um, she serves on the, the board of Cutchins and, uh, and is part of our finance committee. And I, I just love the questions she asked and the um, and the level of uh, expertise that she brings to the table. So, um, with a most positive recommendation, I would like to make a motion for a most positive recommendation. For a most positive, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, a most positive second. <laughs> Moved and seconded to send Catherine Foot Newman with a positive recommend, a most positive recommendation. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and yes. close, so no, none, and no abstentions. Good job. Oh, that's one abstention. One abstention. All right. Well, I was thinking under new business, you might need to think about the July um, date for a meeting. Is that right smack in the middle? Of? It's not the it's not the fourth of July, it's the second. So unless is there anybody who's not gonna be a, knows that that's a one. I'm looking at our oh you're I actually it's July second. Memorial service. Yes. Service. Okay. That's okay. July second. Yeah. yeah, but some folks might be away and wondering if there's Conflict at all, or if you were maybe we definitely wouldn't want to switch it to the third. That seems kind of crazy. No, because Fourth of July is on yeah. Wednesday. The only, the only one, two. All right. So here's a heads up. Uh, who knows? We may not have any appointments, but um, we know that there is something that the mayor's going to send. Uh, did he send anything for the Thursday meeting yet? Uh, yeah. Okay, but he mentioned to me that George Cohot. Mm -hmm. is going to be uh, appointed, well, it'll be a new appointment, even though he served for many years on the planning board. Oh. His name's going to come forward, and I don't know. I mean, what happened with this, too, Bob, is that kind of seven-day, 45-day window there sometimes, yeah. Yeah. if there's, yeah. you know, it gets, gets tricky. So, I mean... Should we just plan on the July 2nd? Is there sure. anybody who thinks they're not going to be around? I don't think okay. I'll be okay. If we 
have a quorum and we'll figure out, you know, we'll obviously have the video recording. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a possible, okay, if there is a problem, then we'll just have to communicate if there's a problem. I guess it's time. okay with Jim. Yeah, yeah you at least have a quorum. Okay. All right. Any other new business? I actually raised this a, a, a month ago when mm -hmm. Councilor Connor was absent. Oh, yes. And we agreed that I was going to follow up, and frankly, never got around to it, just thought we'd bring it back here again. I had asked whether, because it had come up in so many times in the mayor's community meetings about budget and all of this, it's, it's counselors, paving issues. And is, is there any consideration given to a, a more accelerated approach over the next two or three years to addressing the city's paving needs? And I've, I've talked about it with the mayor, and he agrees it's an important topic, and there's always room for fresh ideas. So I, I just wondered if it might make some sense to invite the mayor and the DPW director for a conversation about um, the magnitude of our paving needs and the fact that we keep barely staying, keeping steady, if not falling behind. And are there, you know, what is what is the five-year plan? I guess is the way I would put it for trying to catch up. And I know in TBC, this is there all the time. You had conversations about I got the I DPW director. I, the, mm -hmm. the pothole emails all come to me now. Yeah. That's awful. So <laughs> the, from, from, from where you sit, would it make sense to, 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 to have that? Yeah, I think, I, and I think um, having that discussion at a time that fits, um, you know, their plans, uh, because I think they, they want to prepare, prepare something ahead of time. Um, in other words, that, that we're asking for two things. Can you more firmly lay out what the five-year plan is so that people have a better idea of what's going to be addressed. And is there a way that we could possibly accelerate things and what would that look like? Um, and I, I think that in informal discussions I've had with, with Donna, she's starting to develop, that she has an idea, so. Okay, so um, I could send her, what we have to do is communicate with the mayor's office um, and ask if they would be willing to come. We're hope, uh, we don't know whether July or August or. Uh, yeah, you know. it's not necessarily time sensitive. Yeah, exactly. Like, so so, when so, it so may be whether the July meeting or an August meeting, or, you know, but, but as an alternative to just talking about piecemeal as part of our budget or, or you know, year by year capital plan. What's the, what's the long-term plan here for working our way through this? Um, a lot of the complaints <coughs> that I'm hearing, because I do know, and I know you counselors know also, that the mayor did talk at state council, what, about a month, two months ago, in regards of how he was going to be working with the Department of Public Works on the stormwater ordinance. So I'm having people asking, right now, a follow-up on that. So we're talking about, are you talking about a different subject? Because yes. this is a communication that would be, that would be and paving is issues, stormwater, or stand, stormwater the ordinance. ordinance. So are we asking, is this the committee really, I mean, it's, it's uh, not the one that we, that ever has dealt with DPW. True, but we sort of. But I think he's right. I think we inherited yes. public works when okay. we, what, when we uh, became the catch-all for everything. When we put the, when we, when we put the public <laughs> I think so. I'm not positive. Yeah. Well, well I'll. I'll um, that, that, that's why I suggested here. Okay, so I'm just going to a very brief send a brief email to the mayor saying some counselors would like him and uh, uh, Director Lascalia to meet with the committee and discuss bullet point one: paving issues across the city and any possible long-term plan. Bullet point number two, the storm water ordinance and right. water related issues. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that what you're looking for? Okay. 
next sure. month. We'll yes. send that, we'll get that off to the mayor. That would be the stormwater ordinance. Okay, okay because, because of the meetings that I have together. with the residents. Yeah. We'll just now. do two bullets. Yeah, right. paving and stormwater. Okay. All right, that sounds like a plan, and depending on how many appointments we get in the meantime. How about the month of August? Do we have a meeting in August or no? Well, I'm assuming we haven't canceled any that would be in the regular first of the month schedule, so that would make it August 6th. Um, is there, I mean, are people, do people have no, they're going to be away any particular time, or? I'm good for the 6th. I actually am away on August 6th. Yeah, I thought we Yeah, we may not. I, I don't, I mean, if we don't have any appointments or any other reason to meet, especially if it's July or August, I mean, I think it's not inappropriate to cancel, but um, I guess we don't know in terms right. of appointments. Right. So why don't we see how that goes? And then we have the, um, we have, we have three meetings before then, right? Council meetings, we have the 7th, the 21st, and then when is our meeting in July? Is it the, usually it's the 3rd the 16th. The council meeting is the 12th. Oh, it's the 12th, yeah, that's what we do. We do like the 2nd, and then in August is the, the 16th. 16th. Yes, I believe so, yes. Okay, 2nd and 3rd, okay. So we only meet once in July, once in August. So I have a suggestion based on what clearly Councillor Labarge is interested in, that we try to get whatever work we need to get done in July, so that maybe we don't need to have an August meeting. Oh yeah. I'm just putting it yeah, out. But right? I agree. <laughs> we, that's why I brought up the right. issue of the seven day 45 right, day. Right, I, I gotcha. So, I mean, I don't know whether will be uh, referred anything at the during the next three city council meetings I think we will. <laughs> yeah i mean because what the happens chair of the is GPC, there will be some. you know if something comes <laughs> in if something comes in on the july 12th no the june yeah let's say it's no the june 21st is that yeah, yeah the june 21st meeting mm -hmm. it could be taken up at the first meeting in july something came up July 12th meeting, it would have to be taken up by the August city services meeting. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it would end up in the 45, past the 45 days. Right. So as long, it, as long as we don't get anything referred on July 12th, we can likely um, forego with the August meeting. So, I mean, the other request, and I sent to the other request, I sent to the mayor with the request to you know, appear sometime is could you refrain from sending exactly. us any appointment? Just let the mayor's office know of our right. 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 Just say and possible. Maybe you adjust his calendar for right. Also, to um, I invited Jim to meet one of my residents, and we talked about the cap on retail marijuana. We are looking at, hopefully, he's going to talk to Chief Joey Casper. I talked with her, and she said, and she agreed about not enough of research. Definitely not enough of research. So Jim is going to be talking with her. I'm going to be talking with Meredith so that we can look at Moving on, and I think Kip Armstrong had some very good suggestions of working with the police department and the Board of Health and whoever. And I think Jody Casper is off today. She comes back tomorrow. And exactly what do you want me to ask Meredith? Now, this stuff isn't on the agenda, so I'm just not sure right. so whether this might be a side Yeah, so let's we'll have a quick discussion. Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Want to be all right. Yeah, that would make sense. So, in terms of scheduling, I think we're okay. We're yeah. going to ask for a follow up meeting with the mayor and see if we can pace our appointments somehow. Sounds like a plan. Okay, is there a final motion? Move to adjourn. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.